Hi everyone, I'm Lubomir and thank you for joining me. If you're visiting for the first time, welcome to my channel and if you are returning, it's so good to have you back. Here on this channel, I show you how I combine various card making techniques with elements made with the Cricut. Now if you don't have a Cricut, that's okay. There are many ways of substituting the things I make with other products you may have in your stash. This video shows you how I incorporate what I make with the Cricut in a card. If you're interested in the Cricut tutorial to how I made this particular element, you can find a link to that video in the description below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. If you hit that bell, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video and you won't miss out on any crafty goodness. This week I wanted to create another look using the butterfly cover plate I created last week, but instead of using it as a background die cut, I made it into a stencil. This is just another way to stretch those designs a little further and get several different projects using the same tools. So let's get into the video. To begin with, I'm creating an ink blended panel for my background. I use Distress Oxide inks to make this panel. For the supplies and colors I use, please see the description below. After I ink blend my background, I place the Cricut created stencil over it. I'm going to be applying some Ranger texture paste to this. When I'm doing this, I like to make my stencil as flush as possible to the paper. I first start off by attaching my panel to my work surface, in this case a plastic palette, using some washi tape. Then I tape all four sides of my stencil to my project. By doing this, I make sure there are no gaps where paste can seep in beneath the stencil. When I have everything taped down, I apply my texture paste using a palette knife. This time I place it a little thicker than I usually do to add a little bit more dimension. Since I'm not mixing anything in, I can always return any unused or extra paste back to the jar when I'm done. While the stencil is still on, I sprinkle some gold glitter over random areas of the background. The glitter will stick to the wet paste. The reason that I keep the stencil on is I don't want the entire background to be covered in glitter, and the stencil will act as a partial guard, holding on to some of that extra glitter. 
When I lift the stencil, it will keep the extra glitter and my panel will have a mixture of some butterflies being covered and others not. I do, however, clean my stencil right away off camera. I work on my other images for the card while my panel is drying. Off camera, I stamped three butterflies from the Flutter By stamp set by Lawn Fawn. I stamped them in intense blank ink, an ink that's Copic friendly since I'll be coloring them in. I tried to color coordinate my butterflies with the ink blended panel, keeping the colors in the blue and blue green family.
After I'm done with coloring, I go ahead and die cut the three butterflies off camera. I also stamped and heat embossed the sentiment, Believe in Your Dreams, from that same stamp set. I used the mini Misty to position my stamp, which unfortunately I did out of frame so you can't see it. I used Versamark ink to stamp my image on a piece of vellum and then sprinkled Ranger Princess Gold embossing powder before heat setting it with my heat gun. Now that I have all my pieces done, I can put the card together. I first attach my background to my card base using some foam tape. Next, I dry fit all my pieces to get an idea of the finished product. Originally, I was going to keep my sentiment on a thick banner, but after placing everything, I decided to make it a thinner one and die cut it off camera. To attach my banner, I placed several pieces of foam tape. Since vellum is thin and has a translucent quality, I make sure to set the foam in places I'll be able to cover it, either with a stamp or an embellishment. I love using enamel accents or Nuvo drops for this, but you have to make sure to use a sturdy enough vellum. Sometimes vellum doesn't react well to moisture and can buckle or warp. I like using Lawn Fawn vellum because while it is translucent, it's strong enough for adding embellishments when suspended with foam. I attach my butterflies to the card. I realize I placed two of them in the wrong spots and I gently pull them off and switch their positions. When everything is positioned as I like it, I add some enamel accents and cover the exposed foam on my banner. And that completes this card.
I love this color combination and how the glitter catches the light in the background. What are your thoughts? Please leave them in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. And remember to hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. See you next time. Bye.